I just checked out Apple's Vision Pro headset. It is damn good. It is really, really good. Okay, how do I start this video properly? Because uh, let's just go back to the keynote. Keynote happened, we sold the headset, we sold the price, $34.99, coming out next year. I was like, okay, this thing is probably good, but maybe not that good. Fast forward to me, literally 30 minutes ago, I just came from an hour demo with the Apple Vision Pro headset. And I have to say, I was thoroughly impressed. I was shocked, and I'll tell you why. I'll kind of just take you through the whole process I went through. Now, with this demo, we went over, we weren't able to record any of our interaction because, again, this was early for them, so they said, no, no recording, but you can experience it. And we, they made sure they were able to kind of size and uh, calibrate the headset for each individual. So in my case, I got the headset, I had two Apple employees in the room. The reason I say that is because my interaction with them while using the headset was quite interesting. Uh, the headset itself uh, looks exactly like what you saw in the keynote. Um, well built, really solid. This had the battery pack attached to it because of course they were running longer demos. We do know the headset itself, two hours of battery with the battery pack, Apple promises all day. Now, I was able to put on the headset quite comfortably. The band at the back is nice. There's a little kind of rotor that can tighten it a little bit and there's a top strap. Um, and then you've got the crown. Now, in terms of functionality, most of the functionality is done with gestures, with your fingers and looking around with your eyes. The crown is kind of going back to home screen or maybe, and also just uh, increasing the opacity and blocking out the world and kind of getting into your own space, right? But the first thing you have to do is calibrate your eyes and there's a short calibration session, it's about, it turns out two minutes and you're in. And this is where the magic happens. This is where you jump into it and the first thing you see is Vision OS home screen. Very simple, very clean, but what was cool about it is the spatial distance. You've got LiDAR sensors, depth sensor, ca depth cameras. You have multiple cameras on this thing and it felt like an episode of Black Mirror where they were, you know, people had the VR headsets or AR headsets and you could clearly see the floating display. But this wasn't like jittery, it just felt fixed. Now I had a rep on my left and the distance between the rep and the display, I could calculate it, it was like probably like a, a foot and a half. And I liked that it was there, it was physically there. And then came using gestures. I thought that would be difficult, right? I thought it wouldn't work well. That was one of my biggest concerns. So initially, you know, uh, to tap an, on an icon or open something, you have to just basically tap with your fingers. So I had my, my hand in front of me most of the time just because you know, I figured, hey, the cameras are in front, I'll do this. And I realized in like three to five minutes, like I didn't have to raise my hand up. And just like the video, uh, from the keynote, I was just like right below, down there, and I was just like tap, tap, move, and stuff. So you could, you could tap, drag, drop, you can move windows around, so multitasking is really easy. I thought it would be difficult. Now, this also helps because you've got sensors around your eyes while your headset, you're in the headset, so that tracks that. You've got sensors outside, so while you're moving things around, it doesn't feel like it's floating, or you're gonna get dizzy, or any of that stuff. Tracking is really good. Now we looked at photos. The Photos app was cool because you could go through photos, navigate through, you know, swipe through. You could also check out the panorama photos and once you get into that, it just takes over your whole view and you're like, okay, wow, this is, this is what panorama images should look like. Now there were also 3D photos and 3D video. I really liked the video because it felt it felt like you jumped into a memory. Again, I'm gonna go back to Black Mirror because it felt like you jumped to an episode where you could tap into a memory and you were like, Wow, yes, I remember when, you know, it was my kid's birthday and they were blowing out the candles, like you were there. That's the visual representation. It didn't look like I was watching something flat. It felt like I was there. 
and that can be recorded off the headset itself, right? Um, using the cameras externally, and that's how they capture that. Then you have like a home view. Now home view allows you to go in um, and pick a, kind of like a backdrop that you want, whether it's the mountains, it's the city, and it gives you like this view that, um, you know, almost takes over the whole screen. Now, using your digital crown, you can actually just rotate it clockwise to fill it up so you're now immersed in your own home view and you don't see anything around you. But here's the kicker with that is that when somebody walks up, say, in this case, I had my two Apple reps there, one was sitting on my right, and I looked, I could clearly see them coming through. They kind of fade through slowly, which was interesting and actually pretty cool, meaning that whenever someone comes around, you can actually see them clearly and um, it doesn't necessarily interrupt your, your viewing experience as a jarring thing, but it's just more like, oh, they're there. So that actually was actually, that, that was cool. That was, that was really nice. So it did that and then I got a FaceTime call and I was kind of stunned by this because uh, the call answered and I was like, okay, I see the persona but I thought maybe it was like a video they were playing and then the guy was like, hey, I was like, oh, hi, are you there? Uh, like, you're real. It's like, yeah. Now, Persona is it's, it's a bit weird to me because you can tell that it's a simulacrum of someone. Um, it's like a higher version of, you know, uh, of an emoji, a much higher version uh, because the animations match. You can see him move his hands while he's talking, the lips are moving uh, pretty close to what it should be, but it just felt a little bit weird but it still worked out well, so I can see how that can be used. Now, I was able to drag you know, the FaceTime uh, window around wherever I want to, and spatial audio here is great. Moving that you know, from one end to the screen, I could actually hear his voice travel as I move him to the right. Now, when you have spatial audio in this headset, watching movies is a great experience. So I went into like the cinema mode, I played Avatar, and dear Lord, Avatar was in proper 3D. It felt like watching Avatar 3D in the, in the theaters, and it was great. Oh my God, it was absolutely fantastic. That was very, very impressive, seeing that. They also had like this 8K video, uh, 360 video, where they shot different things like Ali Shaki's singing in a private concert. I felt like she was in front of me singing. Somebody was climbing a mountain and I was like, okay, that's kind of trippy. I was in the city. Different things like that that were just completely, just very immersive and I felt I was there. But the biggest one was that last demo called Encounter with Dinosaurs. And why I liked this demo was simply this. First thing they said, look, stick your hand out and my finger out and a butterfly flew and landed on my finger. And I moved my finger around, the butterfly was still there, then it flew off. But the accuracy of pinpointing because those sensors match. And you think about the kind of calculations that are happening because as that was happening, a portal opened on the wall in front of me. Now, I gotta give it to them with the M2 chip, the R1 chip, everything felt like it was working in sync with this device. And when that portal opened up, it opened to this prehistoric world where there was like a dinosaur running around and finally ran away and then a massive T-Rex came and it walked towards the portal. So there's a portal and I can see the world of the dinosaur there and this is my world. So think about it from like a content creation perspective. Like you can create a portal to different worlds. And you know, told me they, they said I could get up and walk closer. So I picked it up. I picked up the battery pack and I walked closer and my depth of field changed to match my distance. It didn't feel like it was shaky or anything off. The portal was still where it was at the wall, but the dinosaur walked through halfway and I felt I had a dinosaur in front of me. Not like, it's, it's hard to explain. It's not cheesy, you know, AR or cheesy, you know, 3D rendering. It felt realistic. I mean, graphically, yes, it you know doesn't look like a real dinosaur, but it felt really there. And I and I was able to get close to it. And I and as I think it, I'm like, think about, you know, they talk about partnerships with Disney or like in my case, look, I'm a DC fan, right? Uh, I'm gonna watch, watch The Flash. And being able to run into the world where The Flash is creating chaos and you know changing things around. Or Harry Potter, for instance, right? You could open a portal to a different world to go into Hogwarts, that kind of stuff. Like, that's what this thing can do. 
And if I were to ask the question, if you ask me the question, is it worth the 3500 Yes. As a piece of hardware and what I experienced, it definitely was it. I, I am shocked that I am this impressed. I am really impressed with what they actually showed, how it was implemented, the fact that things worked. My biggest thing again, gestures. It worked really well. Is it for everyone? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see when it launches, but Apple is going to shake up the whole industry because this is not like the iPhone to me. I think this is bigger, but also might take some time. But the Apple Vision Pro is legit. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you liked it. I've got a flight to catch. I'm heading back to uh, New Jersey. So you see this, this video in the morning. If you like it, definitely subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And always enjoy your entertainment.